I did mention that communications is a completely different game now than it was five, even five years ago for NGOs. Um, it's not just about the phone, it's about infrastructure and getting access to their normal operating systems. Um, another very important thing in the early parts of the disaster is understanding how important communications is equal to, as, as you said, water, equal to um, shelter. Because if you can't coordinate, you can't optimize your response. And uh, uh, so, so in a country, in a situation where it's a country like Haiti or any you know, country where there might be a serious disaster and they don't have a lot of infrastructure to begin with, you have to look at how you prioritize what gets in the country, who gets in the country, and what gets in the country to help build that communication. Um, one of the things that we were kind of laughing about was that you know, Jessica Simpson wanted to send shoes. And who prioritizes? Do you, get, you know, do you get wireless access points in or do you get shoes in? And you know, frankly, that's, it's really important to figure out how, to, how um, in, a, in this kind of multi-stakeholder, multi-player environment, to try to do that. Um, protocols are key. And being able to come in and have the authority to get things done, not just getting in, uh, but having authority. And so early on, it was important to have authority from the UN, it was important to have authority from the NGOs to really do, do our jobs. Um, and, uh, and then finally, um, one of the things that we saw, and I, this goes back to the shoes, but it happens with a lot of different types of things, including communications equipment, bring in what works with the system. Don't try and flop something new. Um, new, new, t new kind of software ideas, new technologies, okay, but if you're gonna bring in a system, don't bring in a system you know, that doesn't, isn't, isn't already approved, isn't already working with the existing telecom providers. There was a lot of great assistance that, say, for example, in the response, uh, a number of the big companies stepped up and said, I know you've got Cisco equipment, I know, you know Cisco stepped in, I know Google said, I know you've got certain things that, that, you know, and they were going to the ISPs and helping them sort out some of the big, bigger issues. But taking and putting in a brand new system um, that, and there was a situation like this, which wasn't the, the industry, it was actually, I think the UN, where they put in a system for phones, which wasn't on the frequency and wasn't approved. And so they had like 200 users. 200 users of a phone system is not a phone system. Right, and some of those actually caused interference to the yes. commercial phone systems. Exactly, mm -hmm. and so if you don't, if, if it's not, doesn't fit in with the existing system or it's not an evolution of this, don't do it, wait. Because you can improve things later. And the final thing, I guess, the final learning is that in, in austere environments where there are challenging conditions, think about what you can believe behind, because that was one of the bigger learnings too. The infrastructure, beyond Port-au-Prince really didn't exist. And so if you're going to bring in new infrastructure or extend, you know, extend infrastructure, think about how you can leave it behind to, and make sure that it can be used to build back better. Because um, the, you know, going in and putting all this in and then just ripping it out <laughs> makes no sense. It costs more to rip it out than it does to leave it in many cases. And so that's one of our big learnings is that, that you know, not only is it important to try and do a leave behind, but the longer term response is just, in many cases, just as important for the, the local economy and the local recovery as it is the short term. Um, it's just, there's less focus on it and less um, you know, immediate human interest on it. So, and, and I'll just say one last thing in our learnings is that we, we, we've been coordinating with Joe and his work at the State Department. I think it's really exciting to see that a number of entities who are involved in Haiti and Japan are starting to come together and, and look at learnings, or have come together, you can speak to it better than I can.